Hi, I'm Mike Deary. I'm with Hempstead Town Supervisor Kate Murray. Today we're talking about the Lighthouse Project, a proposal to redevelop the Nassau Coliseum and 150 acres surrounding the facility. Hello, Supervisor Murray. Hi, nice to see you. I'm glad we're going to talk about this great subject. Yes, it's, a, uh, it's an interesting project. It's it probably one of the most uh, important development projects in the town of Hempstead in Nassau County, maybe even Long Island in many, many years. Um, a lot has been written about the project, a lot's been reported about it, but still, you know, a lot of people think it's just about refurbishing the Nassau Coliseum. Um, they don't know all of the components about it. What would you tell those people? Well, it is. It's so much bigger than uh, the renovation of the Coliseum. That is certainly one of the aspects, but it's one of many. It's a really very, very innovative proposal. It's focused on our future. It'll not only refurbish the Coliseum, but it will also develop the 150 acres around it. Uh, it will include, for example, two 36-story towers, 2,300 housing units are proposed, 300 new luxury hotel rooms, in addition to the 600 that are there already, 1 million square feet of office space and 500,000 square feet of retail. So when you talk about the renovation of the Coliseum, it's simply a very small part of the whole uh, project. Sure, you know, and, and as you said, it's, it's, it, it, it's obviously more than just the development of the Coliseum. But, you know, one of the things that, that, that I'm curious about, and I think a lot of viewers might uh, want to know, is um, I've been told it's a county-owned parcel of land. How is the town involved in the process? Well, in two very, very important, critical ways. Uh, we have to uh, have the responsibility of providing the environmental reviews around the project, and also we are ultimately the zoning authority as well. Now, with regard to the, the environmental aspect, uh, we're focused on progressive development at the Coliseum site, but also we have to uh, make sure that the state-mandated environmental reviews are done right and done correctly. Now, this, the decisions we make today will affect our children and our grandchildren. After, you, after all, you said a few moments ago, uh, this 150-acre property uh, and this de proposed development is the largest that we have seen perhaps in 100 years in the town of Hempstead. And so we are very, very focused, myself and the other six members of the town board, on making sure that the environmental process is done correctly while at the same time, you know, understanding that this is a very progressive uh, project for the future of our children and grandchildren. You know, I know um, uh, you talked about environmental reviews. I know that the developer for, for the project, the Lighthouse Group, um, has submitted a rather extensive report. I think it's over yes. 6,000 pages. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what are the types of issues uh, that are considered in that report? What are the environmental issues that you have to look at in the town board? Well, again, it's a state-mandated environmental review that we have to go through, and every municipality has to go through when it, they have a, a development before them. And you think about the issues such as traffic, air quality, garbage, collection uh, and disposal of that garbage, our drinking water, our sewage. Those are the very, very basic environmental issues that really can be affected by a large or small development. All right, we talked about environmental issues. Obviously, everyone can appreciate the importance of, of, of protecting our environment and making sure that development is done correctly to, to right. protect the environment. Exactly. Um, at the same time, you mentioned the town board will have to consider zoning issues. What does the town board do with zoning? Well, the zoning, uh, you're right, that's the, the second aspect of our obligations. And the bottom line is the town board has to decide if a proposal, this one or any other one that comes before the board, is appropriate for the site based on all of the information that we've received thus far. Well, I, I guess that brings about the, the natural question that many people would ask. And uh, do you support the Lighthouse Project? Well, I'm very, very dedicated to progressive and forward-looking development for our town. We all know that something needs to be built at the hub, uh, and the benefits of a well-planned, large-scale project include, of course, economic stimulation, job creation, support for our tax base, but at the same time, we must review any major development proposal very carefully. That's our obligation. And so our major projects like this one have the potential to really reshape the face of suburbia. And so whatever we do, we have to make sure it's done right. You know, it's, it's, it's interesting. You, you know, you mentioned that we have to make sure it's done right. You mentioned the, the environmental component. You mentioned some of the benefits. Um, the public, uh, you know, I'm sure is very interested in, in the environmental reviews. That uh, It's a process that's ongoing now, I understand. Yes. 
How can they learn more about it? How can they weigh in? What can they do to learn about it? Well, it's really the perfect time uh, at this point for the public. They ultimately get their chance to weigh in very soon. Just a few days ago, uh, the town board on July 7th declared the developer's environmental report ready for public review. And so what that means is that the public can view the document at our town's website, uh, toh.li, uh, the town has also called for a public hearing on the environmental issues that are referred to before uh, surrounding this project. We are calling it for August 4th at 9.30 at the John Cranford Adams Playhouse, which is at Hofstra University. They have very kindly uh, opened their doors to us. Uh, we anticipate a large uh, number of folks coming down. Sure. Now, you've spoken about the public, and we talked about uh, how they can weigh in. Yes. We talked about a public hearing that's taking place. Will there be other people that you'll be hearing from? Who, who, and if so, who would those people be that you'd be speaking to or, or hearing from either at the hearing or by way of, uh, of communication with the town board? Well, it is interesting. Up until this point, the town of Hempstead has really conducted all of the environmental reviews and the developer has responded. Uh, so now basically the world gets to weigh in on this project. Number one, the county owns the property. They must approve the, the lease with the Lighthouse Group. Uh, the county also will have to approve the final agreement concerning any development that goes there. And there are also what they call involved agencies that review and comment on the developer's in environmental report. For example, uh, what do I mean by involved uh, and interested agencies? The State Department of Environmental Conservation, the State Department of Transportation, the Nassau County Health Department, the Nassau County uh, Public Works Department, the Town of Hempstead Water Department, uh, the Village of Garden City, the Village of Hempstead, maybe some local fire districts. All of these parties play a very, very vital and important role.